Red Tractor has launched a new logo. They say it's to improve emotional engagement with their consumers. And it's worked because now I'm feeling frustrated, fed up and annoyed. Time and time again, Red Tractor is slated in the media and all they ever do is invest in more marketing. Oh no, an undercover investigation has exposed us for the meaningless label we truly are. I know, let's do a million pound ad campaign. Oh no, consumers have seen through the adverts and are realizing we're a waste of time and energy. I know, let's get a new logo. Is it a coincidence that now, after Viva exposed them on national television, Red Tractor have decided to get a new logo? So in many cases, are you saying farmers are paying for the result that they want? Yeah, I would say so, and essentially it's an accreditation scheme that farmers pay to be a part of. Nothing quite installs that feeling of trust and assurance in a company who cares more about their image than the animals that they claim to protect. But that's not all. It was reported in the Times that only one in 1,000 red tractor inspections are unannounced, giving farmers plenty of time to tidy up welfare breaches. So, Red Tractor decided to do more unannounced inspections but, and here's the catch, after finding welfare breaches on pre-arranged inspections. So what does all this mean for their new logo? How are they going to communicate their high welfare standards to consumers? Oh, that's right. Let's remove all of that little unnecessary text about being traceable, safe, and farmed with care, and instead replace it with a cute little love heart. Because nothing says high welfare better than love hearts. Also, if you look closely, they're no longer assured, they are now certified. <laughs> it's actually funny how transparent their marketing is sometimes. This change is clearly because assured implies confidence and consumers don't have confidence in Red Tractor. Look, the bottom line here is that Red Tractor approves cruelty. Their high standards still allow for cutting off piglets' tails and caging mother pigs while they're pregnant. You name it, they approve it. Oh, they don't approve it, they certify it. So if you're left wondering what meat you should buy, just don't. Go vegan instead. Viva has everything you need to get started.